Hey guys, how are we? Uh, Shelly Harris here. I'm going to be reviewing the album Light Chasers by Cloud Cult. This will be my first review, so I hope you guys enjoy it. I first listened to this album a couple weeks back, and it was really interesting because I was just about to have a baby. Uh, the baby's been born now, and so on the second repeat of listening through the songs, it's been a emotional experience real sentimental. Um, the reason why is, is this album by Cloud Cult, Light Chasers, was composed by Craig and Connie Manoa. They're this group of hippies that formulated this band that really focuses on this concept art uh, in, in terms of music. And this album, Light Chasers, was made right after they lost uh, their two-year-old son uh, in, unexpectedly back in 2002. So when they were composing this album, they did it in on their geothermal farm in Minnesota, and you really get this hippie instrumental indie rock feel, um, experimental sound from it. The Each song, it's a 16 song album, and each song has almost um, a, a bass title, and then a secondary title after that. For instance, you'll have songs on the album called The Strength, or The Birth, or The Baby, or the battle and metaphorically this album light chasers speaks to the mission that we are all on which is to understand what we're here why are we here on this planet what are we doing um, as you can see at the album art it's this spatially galaxy space themed uh, idea and and there's energy in all of us and chasing the light in my opinion in this album is, is trying to make sense of why are we here try to explain what we're doing on this planet and as you can experience as you can guess I mean experiencing a tragic loss such as losing a child which is something that you know nobody no parent can really understand how to cope with is is a time to you know is a real awesome time to or not awesome but real poignant time to look back and reflect and try to understand what we're doing here so I kinda wanna jump through each individual song on the album spend a little bit of time there and then I'll wrap up with Kind of an overview of the sound, what I think, my personal thoughts, and then give you just a little rating at the end, okay? So the first song is called The Mission, uh, Unexplainable Stories. And for me, this song speaks to uh, what it does is it sets the stage for this journey that we're going to embark on metaphysically. I mean, this meta journey about a journey in a sense. Um, then you get a song called The Departure, and it, then today we gives our, give ourselves to the fire. For me, this song talks about just letting go, uh, to jump in, let everything go. We're going to light, put our hands up, light up this fire, and we're going to go full-blown on this journey. Uh, the next song is called The Invocation, You'll Be Bright. You know, life is calling our names, and that's what this song is saying, is that we need to be bright, and we need to be ready for an adventure, and we have to be open and willing to accept what we're about to embark on. The next song for me is, it's called The Birth, and there's no lyrics to it, but I think that's important. There's like three or four songs on this album that don't have any lyrics, but the time in which these songs come on are important because the very next, they, you know, they want you to kind of be in this abstract mind of thinking because the very next songs that follow that, uh, for instance, in this case, it's called The Baby, is one of the more important songs on the album. This is where they want your focus to remain. So The Birth has no lyrics, but it's a great example of uh, this hymn, biblical feel. There's a lot of chanting, some smooth instrumentals, and then that's followed up by a song called The Baby. And The Baby is, for me, I think it's specifically about the loss of their child. And they're talking about how great this child could have been, and it sets the stage for them chasing the light. I mean, this is their journey in terms of like, okay, we need to figure out where we're at. You know, they, Craig and, and Connie ended up separating for a year after this happened, and you know, I think coming back together and composing this album really uh, helped them kind of cope and grieve, you know, experience that grieving process. Um, the next song after that's called The Lessons and The Exploding People. You know, for me, this song didn't really, uh, this was probably my least favorite song on the album, probably because the previous song was my favorite, and I felt like this was a real weak follow-up song. Uh, the auto-tune for it, it, I'm just not a big fan of that sound, and... You know, Craig's voice is in this auto-tuned robotic voice, and, and for me, that's just, it's just tough to listen to. Um, but, you know, there, there are, it, there's some 
pull, you know, some takeaways from this song, and that's the lessons are that, uh, you know, I think there's one lyric, like, we're our own poison, our own cure, our own doctor, and I think that, that what this talks about is we need to learn from our mistakes, you know, and, and so narratively or conceptually, this song after that next song is important. I mean, it's a mistake. I know that they couldn't really control losing their child, but I mean, there, there's lessons in life that we need to, to understand and we are going to experience and we should, should learn from them. Followed uh, that song is called The Interference, the beginning of the new, ch this is the beginning of the new chapter. Um, I think that they want you to now start paying attention to some of the demons, some of the things that can really harm this light chasing journey. Um, from there, you get a song called The Battle, a room full of people in my head. Uh, this song was really abrasive, it's loud, and I think the, impo the important part of that is to set the tone for understanding that there's going to be a lot of things going on and it's, you know, there's conflicting thoughts or emotions and you kind of got to have to compartmentalize those and separate them. Uh, followed the, the ninth song on this album is called The Escape, Running With The Wolves. This is one of my favorite songs on the album, not specifically because it talks about running away naked from your problems, but probably... Uh, I think all of us experience that at some point in time. We just want to throw our hands up and say, the heck with this, I'm out, I'm leaving, I'm giving up, I'm done. And, and I think that's a normal part of life. And that's being able to recognize and understand those moments are important because you don't have, you don't really want to do that. Um, but, but maybe the idea of doing that is what's important, you know, is, is, is maybe even just taking 15, 20, maybe an hour or even a day to check out and experience that's okay. But, but you can't, you know, turn into some hippie bum on the streets, or, you know, in these guys' case, maybe you can't. So, um, obviously they got their things set up in their life to kind of be these hippies and get away from the world, but all of us kind of have those experiences that that's where we want to go. Um, the next song on here is called The Acceptance, and I think this is making it, uh, is a poignant song about understanding that we're responsible for our own actions. We have to accept where things where we, you know, we may not be where we want, or we may not have what we want, or, or accomplish the things that we wish we would have accomplished, but we have to accept that, and to understand that that's part of the process, that's part of this light-chasing journey that we're on. The 11th song is called The Guessing Game, again, this one has some auto-tune, this is going to lose some points at the end of the review uh, for this song, um, I'm not a huge fan of the auto-tune, and I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time talking about it, but the, the next song is called The Strength, Forces Unseen. I really like this song. I think it's a great follow-up song to the previous song. Uh, it's this anthem for perseverance. Um, Craig even says one in you know one at one point in there to to that he's going to fight. He's going to prove you know that this is uh, I'm strong enough to battle this and to handle this. The thirteenth song on here is called Blessings. Uh, again, I, there's not a whole lot of understandable lyrics in this song, but it really talks to this biblical hymn type feel that they have going on. Um, there's some big drums, it's real melodic. Uh, it feels like you're at this event horizon, you know, and it's towards the end of the album, and so I think that this is like one of those songs that they really want things to set in. They want you to, to take a back, take take a step back, reflect, understand what's going on, and let everything kind of sink in. 14th song on here, The Awakening, it's called Dawn as the other title. You know, this is really about all this light and energy traveling around us and us trans, you know, transversing the universe. And, you know, it slows down. I think it gives the album time to breathe, which is important um, because the, the last couple, you know, first couple songs and the last couple songs on an album are, are really the most important, I think, in, in, in composition, in terms of composition. Uh, so the 15th song is another instrumental type sound. It's like only a minute and 20 seconds or something like that. Uh, so it's letting things kind of soak in one more time, and then you get what's called the arrival. There's so much energy inside of us. And for me, this just kind of wraps everything up. It, it's this journey of life and death and, and positive and negative and lightness and darkness, and that there's so much energy inside of us, and that essentially throughout this journey, they have been looking for the light. They've been chasing it, and they've been trying to examine all these experiences throughout their life, but the light's always been inside of you. That's something that they've realized, and I think they were able to capture that and put that into this song. And for me, it, you know, is just incredible. I think that it speaks incredible volumes to let people, to, to allow people to, or, or to put a frame of reference in somebody's mind to let them step away from 
everything that's going on in their world and realize that you have everything that you really need inside of you or in the closeness to the people around you. Um, you don't need to facilitate your light with you know, Facebook likes or a big screen television or a big fancy truck. You know, you have really everything inside of you that, that you need to be happy. Uh, and of course, you know, a, a close partner or, you know, your family or your parents or some siblings, those are the people that really provide you with this light. Um, you know, I, I talked about the, the sound of this album and, and it's, it's an indie rock experimental concept feel. There's some hard rock moments it almost feels like, you know, it's real aggressive. But overall, I think this is something that you need to listen to when you're in a frame of reference of wanting to question things. I mean, this is easy listening on the ears, but not on the mind. This takes a lot of questioning and understanding where you're at. And I think in order for this album to really work for you, you have to be in that mind, that frame of reference. Overall, though, I would give this album probably seven and a half, eight stars. Uh, it loses some points for me from the auto tune. The, those really, those songs are, are really hard for me to listen to specifically. But overall, the the chanting, the hippie feel. I'm a kind of a dirty hippie myself, so I really enjoyed this album, and I felt like they did a fantastic job. And you know, I can't wait to get more. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video, and I would appreciate you to subscribe or to follow any others that I put out.